What is up? I'm Grim Cookie. And my mother, bitch, shut up. And today we are playing the one and only Elder Scrolls Skyrim. Yes, Skyrim. You probably played it yourself. Maybe even twice. Maybe even three times. But you've never seen it played like this. Parkour. I'm kidding. You've probably done that plenty of times. It's called jumping. And as I was saying, we are playing the Elder Scrolls V Skyrim today. You've probably done your own playthroughs of it. You've probably watched plenty of other people do their own play. Oh my god. These people just don't know where to shut up. But I am going to be playing it today because I have been feeling like playing it lately and thought, you know what, since I'm going to be playing it anyways, I might as well go ahead and make a video of it. Here I am. And as you can see, I am playing as a dark elf. Or not dark elf. Oh my god. I am playing as a high elf, not a dark elf. I, I always accidentally get the elves mixed up. As you can see, I'm wearing blades armor. Even though I don't typically usually wear this. Did you know there's some This is going this is my second playthrough of Skyrim. My first playthrough of like level fifty five. Oh my like Jesus bitch, get it's out of my house. God dang. As I was saying, in my last playthrough, I was boss as fuck. And I was annoyed. So this playthrough, I made a high elf. And now I had fun and I became a vampire and everything. And then I stopped playing it, and then I created... Oh my god, what the fuck? Oh yeah, that's my... Oh yeah, this is Serena, and that is Lydia. I totally forgot I had you. As I was saying, I basically have four playthroughs. One is a Nord, already past that. This one is a High Elf, already halfway through the story, I believe. And the third was a Breton... I liked using magic even though I already had a high elf with very good magic abilities and basically I stopped playing as that. And then I made a fourth playthrough as an orc and that got boring real fast. So now I'm back to the high elf because I have all the good shit. Or some good shit. Look at this helmet. This is a cool helmet. And I believe you can only find a couple in the game. And one of them is, of course, in Meridia's Lighthouse or whatever the fuck it's called. The place where you take Meridia's beacon. You find this there on the floor once you enter. And it's cool looking. If you go with the Imperials, this is the perfect helmet to have. Because it looks sweet as fuck when you're wearing it. And of course... I, oh yeah, I totally forgot I had that. And basically, as I was just saying, in my very first playthrough of this game, all the way back when I was a young lad, playing it on the Xbox 360, I sucked at this game. I was horrible. I was the worst. You will not believe what I did. When I first went into Riverwood, there was a boy, and he was playing with a dog. They were running around in a circle, and I thought the dog was trying to kill him, so I tried to save the boy, only to be killed by every villager in the fucking village, and that was fucked up. I was just trying to protect the young lad. I wasn't trying to, like, hurt him. I'm going to take this Nightingale armor, because that is what I usually wear. I do not mind wearing other armors, but in this one, when I went with the High Elf, I wanted to kind of change things up. I did not want to um, basically do exactly what I did all over again in my first playthrough. So instead, in this one, I was more focused around light armor and magic and stuff, but I ended up using swords anyways. As you can see, I have boss swords, Harkin sword. And the, 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 the Dragon Slayer, some shit like that. Let's check it out. Look at these weapons. Dragon Bane. 35 points of extra damage to dragons. 10 points of shock damage to others. And this sword is actually acquired via the main storyline. If you are going with the blades and whatnot, which you have to in the story, you will find this, I believe, in the blades sanctuary or whatever. Then you have Harkin's Sword, which is acquired via the Dawnguard DLC, which is standard if you get the, 
well, the special edition, which came out around two years ago for the PS4, Xbox One, and whatnot. It is a great sword. Oh my god, what did I just do? Oh yeah, never mind. Oh. It is a good sword, and it absorbs 15 points of health, magicka, and stamina if wielded by a vampire, which I am. Because I do not mind being a werewolf with the companions, but I said fuck the companions. I don't do them anymore because they're boring and I've done them like three times in my life already and I don't need to do that anymore. It gets boring. So we're gonna deposit some shit, decrease my carry capacity. I now have uh, like 198 extra pounds and we can go exploring. What? Okay, let's check out the quests. The Dragonborn, travel to Solstheim. I've already done that on my last playthrough. I haven't done it on this playthrough because I've been leveling up. I make it a point. When I get to Whiterun, I do the whole dragon thing where you kill the dragon at their watchtower. But then I stop doing the main story missions until I'm like level 25 to 30. Because that makes me strong. Sure, it makes the enemies strong as well. But by that point, I have so much good gear that I don't even give a shit. And I can cut right through them. I do not know what I'm looking for, but I don't care. Darkness returns. With the skeleton key of Nocturnal safely in my possession, I'm bound for Twilight Sepulcher to return it to its resting place. But I'm not doing that because the skeleton key is basically an unlockable... Uh, uh, an unlockable... Uh, an unbreakable lockpick. And I can use that unbreakable lockpick all the fuck I want. And there's really no point in returning it because all you get is some shitty power you can use like once a day. So I said, screw that, I'm keeping this thing until I get unbreakable lockpicks. Which I usually never get, seeing as I don't contribute much points to that category. So the skeleton key actually comes in very handy. I think... Oh, wow, never mind, I totally forgot. It does appear that I have been to Soul Time. I totally forgot about that. Dragonborn, this one, right up here. It doesn't matter if you've already been there because the cultists come to attack you to attack you I believe once you're certain ways into the storyline or level wise I can't I don't remember the whole deal with that all I know is that you can't be a low level meaning I probably traveled to soul time when I was like level 15 and never really returned I cannot clearly remember whatever we're just gonna forget about that who the fuck ever gets all 24 of those? If you have, leave a comment. Even though nobody's going to be watching this, I might as well say that anyways because I want to. Fowley and Martha is rumored to have studied vampires. He might be able to cure the condition. And I don't want to be cured because I'm a vampire. See? Mount Kilcreeth, I guess is what it's called. But Meridius Beacon, that is where you find that special helmet I showed you. You can also find one, I believe, while doing a Brotherhood mission in that weird um, storage place in Solitude Harbor or whatever. As you can see, I have amassed a rather large plethora of quests, but I've also completed a rather large plethora of quests. Now, everybody obviously does a lot of quests, but come on, this is a lot of quests. Skyrim is so filled with content, and I am so happy that this game was made, and I view it as one of the best games ever made. Yeah, you, you heard me. I just said that. It is one of the best games Maybe not the best, definitely not the best, but one of the best games, in my opinion, ever made. And it is very fun, it's very well thought out, it's very content filled. Even if you don't have the special edition, even if you had gotten the standard original edition for the older consoles, it was still fun as fuck. Because it still was loaded to shit with content. So I am going to say fuck it, I am going 
Dead salt time! We're going to salt time, people! So as with my fallout- Oh, yep, totally forgot about that. As with my fallout profile, I never plan on actually doing a playthrough of this. This game is just too old, too many people have done it. So you will generally be watching me go around doing random shit. And in this part, it'll be soul time. I can just travel to soul time, what the fuck? Why are you telling me to go there to the fucking ship that takes me there? Like, why? I don't even need to. It's called like the Iron Maiden or whatever. I don't fucking remember. Iron Winter, Winter Maiden. I don't give a shit. I don't give no fucks. Not a single fuck was given. As you can see, that's all to win. I have not killed him yet. But I plan to soon. Maybe not today, though. Obviously not in this video. So, as we continue on and look at the... Oh, wait. Nope. Loading screen is on. Oh, shit. Um, I should probably drink one of my potions of blood. I keep potions of blood on me. Oh. You've committed crimes against the Dunmer people of Soulstyle. What say you in your defense? Well then, I guess being a vampire than using the blood obviously makes it rather noticeable. Should I pay the 2080 gold? Should I submit to jail or nah I'm just gonna pay the gold. Wow. That ended with me losing. Well, it's not like I have to worry. I have a 178,023 gold. So, you know. And no mods were used. I just want to say that again. I said it when I was making my follow-up videos. Because I play on PlayStation, mods suck. You know, there's not a lot of good ones. There are worthwhile ones, I guess. Like ones that allow you to get shit and whatnot. But I do not use those because I do not believe in that. I would use mods that gave me new looking equipment and whatnot, but since I play on PlayStation, that's not really an option here. But that doesn't me keep me from making a lot of money. I have over 250,000, no, I think I have over 300,000 septums on my first playthrough because I sell hell shit like a shit ton of loot. Trust me, if you play this game, then you would know loot is essential to basically your survival. If you want money, you gotta have a lot of loot to sell. Or just a lot of really, or just a couple really good pieces of equipment that are worth like it's hundreds. Or in a cave. Anywhere, just out of this. Shut up, Serena. Stop whining. So we are going to be searching for information about Mirak, the dragonborn dude who you actually kill because he's like some dragonborn dude trying to raise himself back from the dead using slaves which are basically taken from the island. They're not really slaves, more like mind controlled for a p certain period of time and then they do shit for him. It's kind of weird. Do I have a shield on me? I do not have a shield on me and that is not good because I particularly prefer to play my playthroughs with a shield. I cannot remember if I've gotten this house yet. I have on my first playthrough. I think I might have already on this playthrough as well. If so, I'll probably have a shield in here. I do not know. I cannot remember. Can I help you? Okay, never mind. I haven't killed these spies yet. Yes, if you have not played this game, it's been fucking like seven years, man. You should have played this by now. So as I say, if you have not played this game, and you have not played this, those guys are basically spies. I have not killed them yet and taken their house yet. That's weird. But whatever. We're gonna go over here. We're gonna go exploring. Now I know technically playing the Elder Scrolls online would probably get me more views. Maybe. I don't know. I'm not actually that good at it. But as I was saying, I don't really like playing online only games. I have no judgment against them. If that's your type of thing, that's you. But I prefer to simply play by myself because I have no friends. So why would I go playing with random people? For a sense of community? Hell no. Most of those people are dicks and if they could kill you because they're higher level and have better equipment, they probably would. But in Elder Scrolls Online, that is basically not allowed, it's not available to do, so they don't do it. But I'm pretty sure all the dicks playing it would probably be like, you know what, I'm better than him, I bought all this shit, I'm gonna go kill him. And luckily, that cannot happen, but I still prefer to play single player games.
I have no fucking like what am I supposed to be looking for? What am I looking for? I guess I should touch this and then I start like working on it with the rest of them. I do speak. Look at me hammering away like a good Sumerian. Ah, so you are able to resist the effect by exerting your will. You there. You don't seem to be what the fuck? the same stage as this. Very interesting. This dude just appears out of nowhere. I ask what it is? This guy lives on the island. He's a crazy wizard dude. And like, usually in my other playthrough, I do not remember him coming here to like help me. I don't think he did. He might have. I don't believe he did though. This is weird. This has not happened before, I don't think, to me. It should have, I believe. I have no idea. Whatever, let's go. Mirror, mirror. Oh, wait, I had a couple. Mirror has been dead for thousands of years. What does I'm that mean? Sure. Perhaps it has some relation. I'm afraid I can't give you any answers, but there are ruins. If I were you, I'd look there. Building something. Something, clearly. Yeah. Obviously, yeah. you yeah. bitch. I was asking you what they were building. I'm very interested. Okay, you know what? We're done. We should probably... We should probably change the um, audio on this game. Because... You have to be able to hear my beautiful voice. So I said fuck the audio, turn it the fuck down. Oh hey look at this, Ninru. If I, okay, never mind. I was fixing to say something. If I take this, will you guys try to freaking take 2,080 gold from me again? I should kill everybody here, but I don't feel like it. So we're going to the center town. Hey look, this guy's walking. Ah, uh, don't tell me it's another fucking dragon. I hate dragons. I don't like fighting them. They're so boring. I've already fought like dozens. Don't you just hate it? When you've already killed like 50 fucking dragons. And then another one just appears because, oh, never mind. I think it was Ash Spawn. Yeah, as I said earlier, if you have not played this game, you've probably already fucking played it. If you haven't played it, then what the fuck? One of the best games ever. You should play it! Play it now! So as I say, if you have not played Ash Bond are basically undead soldiers. They're kind of like zombies, I would say. We could have just walked that direction, but whatever. I'm going the long way. I'm getting kind of hungry! I know I shouldn't say that while making a video, but I am. I'm getting hungry. Hey, look at this. A fucking Ash Hopper. Don't you just find it funny how you're like the strongest motherfucker on the fucking face of this fucking continent and whatnot. And then a little ash hopper like you take like two strikes to kill him. Like how does that make sense? You're the fucking dragon boy. You should be able to cleave that motherfucker in half with a single stare. Yeah. You heard me fucking stare. You should just be able to stare them to death. Point blank. Laser eyeballs right there. Dead. Burnt. But, you have limitations as it is a game. Aw, oh, fucking motherfuckers. What shout do I have equipped? I have a plethora of shouts. I have even more shouts. Obviously, this isn't a lot compared to the overall. Well, maybe it's like half. But as I was saying, I have a decent amount of shouts. But, on my old profile, I basically have all of them. Maybe not all the words to them, but I have all the individual shouts I believe maybe not all the words but I don't really need all those for it to be deadly as fuck and that like missed that guy kill him god dang it fuck you don't kill a vampire that's rude vampire lord I can turn into a vampire lord if I wanted to if you have not played the DLCs, obviously you have. If you're watching this, then you probably already played it plenty of times. Hell. Or you may not have. But Arvac, you get him from the Soul Cairn, and he's a bony horse. 
He's a very bony horse. Like, look at him. He's nothing but bony. Like, where is the meat on your bones? Have you not been fed lately, Arvac? I will take that back. That was not funny. I'm sorry, Arvac. Or whatever the fuck your name is. I keep forgetting if it's Arvac or Arvac. All I know is I'm... Oh, shit. Oh, motherfucker. Oh, motherfucker. Killing my horse. He's killing my horse. You fucking red-ass bitch. I'm going to... I'm dog. I said die when I and I meant it. Oh no. I completely forgot how to get off my horse. I completely forgot. Okay, finally I fucking figured it out. You died today, little bitch. And you can basically summon Arvark whenever the fuck you want to. Oh shit. Oh my god, that was an explosion. Fuck you, Burnt Spriggan. Kill it, it's just a fucking grasshopper. Yeah, that'll teach him for sure. He's so scared of you now. Except he's dead, so bitch, how does the fuck does that make sense? As you can see, I have a decent amount of spells and whatnot. I like conjuring a lot, it's probably my favorite. Um... I have a lot more spells in my other profile, which I will probably do a video of sooner or later. If you don't want to see me do that, then, you know, you don't have to watch it. Telekinesis, one of my favorite spells of all time. But it's also so draining. Costs 170 per second because I do not have the perks to decrease that cost. But telekinesis can pull an object to you from a distance, add it to your inventory, or throw it. That is actually very fun to fucking do. It's practically useless in this game, seeing as you could just walk over and pick it up and not waste any magicka at all. But when it comes to doing shit the cool way, that's the way to fucking do it. If you don't have telekinesis, you should find it, and you should get it. I have, I believe it comes with the DLCs because I do not think I ever saw it when I had the just the base game on um, my Xbox 360 years ago, years and years ago. But I do believe, you know, it's in the special edition. Obviously, it comes standard because you know whatever. Hey, bitch! Watch where you walking. What the fuck? How did I miss? Oh, you don't scare me. Oh, shit. For some reason, these guys are harder to kill than usual. Also, why am I carrying an iron sword? I don't, I don't care. You know what? I'm going to use some destruction magic. Heal me, bitch. Ah! Hey! You're dead. Don't kill her. I swear if you kill her while I'm looting this chick. I don't think Serena is killable. I have really no idea. All I know is that the majority of your followers are in this game. Unlike Fallout 4 and Fallout New Vegas. Oh, we killed him. Um, it's a lot harder. I'm not really showing my true skills right now. I'm kind of rusty. I haven't played this in ages. Don't think of that as an excuse. Think of it as reality because this is the fucking truth. It's been months since I've played this. I'm a bit rusty, but I've been wanting to play. Hey, wow, that's a very neat trap. Not really. Fucking petty. Oh, look at that. 1,000. Even though you're not going to get 1,000 for it because people are greedy and they don't want to give you all the money it's worth. As you can see, we have lots of fucking loot. Lots and lots of fucking loot. And I've totally forgot to bring my fucking, um, the pickaxe that you get. The, uh, Nordic pickaxe or whatever it's called. I cannot remember. But it's basically a pickaxe you, pickaxe you get from this island. From the blacksmith in Raven Rock. He basically, somebody, like, stole it. Or, well, somebody, he let somebody borrow it and they never gave it back. 
And basically, if you go and get it back for him, he ends up letting you keep it for some reason. Like, oh, hey, you got it back for me. Thanks. You know what? You can keep it as a, you know, gift for getting it back for me. That makes, like, no sense in my opinion. Like, I guess it's an honor thing because he, he's a Nord living on Raven Rock or whatever. So he would have honor and whatnot for you doing him a favor. But it really makes no sense to give you the pickaxe he sent you to go get for him. It really makes no sense. Also, on Soul Sun, you can encounter werebears. They are only in the northern part of the island, I believe. But werebears are essentially werewolves that are like bears instead. And they're called werebears. They're pretty fucking cool. I actually followed them once to see if I could become one of them. Killed like three of them. It was rather hard. I had to become a werewolf when I. I this was on my last playthrough. And basically, I killed them all. And searched, and I and I don't think you can become a werebear. You can get a spell once you've passed the island, like this DLC. You can find these ritual rocks here, and you can basically go and get spells from them. And one of them is to conjure a werebear. You must leave this place, nah, bitch. Come here. You there? What brings you to this place? Why are you here? Hello, lady. Wait, nope. Give me a second. Also, there we go. Look how tall I am. I am of the scar. Yep, I, I already know I've done this like... Oh, I've already done people. this like twice before. One on my Xbox, <laughs> when I had the game, I got the DLCs, it was fun. Then the fucking thing broke. And you know, that was, that sucked. I am unsure. It makes them... I also and like how in them. this game... You don't really have a voice. See, a lot of people, me included, believe that when an RPG game is an RPG game, you shouldn't really have a voice because that's not what you sound like, you know? It's just kind of weird. Like, you're, you're, you're like, choosing the choices and then you hear someone else speak. And I know some people probably disagree. They probably find it normal. But I find it kind of weird, like some other people. And... I prefer games that don't really have a voice. You pick what you say. Of course, I would like a more branching conversation. There are some of those in this game. Not really. You do make some choices, but not really a lot. And I would really prefer if they had a more branching storyline. But being how content-filled and large Skyrim is, I do not think they would have been able to achieve such a branching type of, basically, communication with NPCs and whatnot without taking even longer to, like, make... The replies the NPCs can give using voice actors and whatnot. Then you and I both. Let us go. We need to find a way into the temple below. Yep, 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 let's go. We must leave so I am going Oh my god. So I am going to leave the video off there. Quick save. Isra, can you hear me? Whatever. I'm going to leave the video off right here. And I will be making another one very soon, probably. I love Skyrim. I love it. I want to play more of it. But to do it, what the fuck is going on? Oh, yeah, whatever. Um, so I will leave the video off here. Thank you very much for watching. If you even bothered watching, a lot of you probably didn't. If you didn't bother watching, then you probably won't hear this. But whatever. And if you like the video, hit the like button. If you want to subscribe, possibly think about it. Do it, do it, do it, do it. Don't think about it. Just tap the subscribe button. I need more subscribers. Thank you very much. Thank you for the support if you've been giving it to me. And I will see you guys next time.